Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to enable traffic sign recognition on all VW Group cars based on the MQB platform. Now, I'll be doing this on a Skoda Superb, but you can do this for set, follow the same steps on other vehicles as well. One thing to bear in mind is that you will need one of these A5 cameras uh, installed in there. Uh, you can just retrofit them as well if you like. Back into our OBD11 app, it's still connecting, but you can use VCDS for this as well. Uh, you can follow the exact same steps as I'll be going through in this video. Once it's connected, you want to go ahead and click on this three bar icon to load up the control units list. And in here, go to controller 5F, which is multimedia here, but information control unit on VCDS. Go ahead and click on adaptions and type in Gen 2 and look for car function list BAP Gen 2 and open that. In here, you need to search for traffic sign recognition 0 times 21. And uh, once you find it, click on it and hit activate and click OK. Now, since this is an adaption, you need to save this change by ticking on the green icon at the bottom. Once this is done, you want to stay around in the same control unit and uh, in controller 5F and again in adaptions. But this time around, you're going to want to type in Gen 2 and look for car function adaptions, Gen 2. And in here, you'll want to find a menu display road sign identification. Now on VCDS, this would probably be called menu menu display road sign identification. Once you find it, you just click here and hit activate it. And again, remember to tick on the green icon at the bottom to save those changes. Once this is uh, completed, um, I forgot to do one more step here, but I'll come back to it right at the very end. Um, but let's go on ahead and go to another control unit and make those changes that we need to do over there. So go ahead and this time around go to controller A5, which is driver assistance. And uh, in here, you want to select long coding. And in here, uh, toggle the um, switch to turn it into byte mode. And go on, head on over to byte 16 bit 4 and you want to enable it and change it to active. Um, this is called the traffic sign recognition VZE and this is to display the traffic signs on your dashboard when it picks them up through the camera. So uh, yes, remember to press and hold this time because this is a long coding to save those changes. Now we want to go into controller 17 uh, dashboard and uh, head on over to again uh, long coding by toggling on this uh, byte mode and in here you're going to want to find byte head over to byte 5 and uh, bit 2 and enable it which would be the traffic sign recognition installed now set it to activate it now notice how when you do that um, the compass changes from the top of the screen to the bottom left and finally let's go back to controller 5f and make that one more change that we needed to make uh, again head on over to um, the controller select long coding toggle it into byte mode but this time round, when you head on over to byte 24 bit 6 you want to untick traffic sign display vza now this is the speed and the traffic sign data that's stored in the maps you don't want them both displaying at the same time. So this uh, disables the one from the maps. Now, once this is completed, uh, you will hopefully now see um, a new menu on your maxi dot. And in here, if you go on, head on over to driving data, you should see a new menu called road signs. Now, obviously I'm on my drive at the moment, so you won't see anything. But uh, if you don't see this menu, then you need to enable it in your infotainment uh, section. And uh, when you do start driving, hopefully you see something like this, all the road signs. You also see some new options under the driver assistance settings. If you have any problems, let me know.